Well, got another tree we're gonna work on right here. I'm gonna send this one over here. So, oh, I need to put my earplugs in. Got my glasses. Gotta put in my plugs. And this will be kind of tricky again. It's all caught up in this mass of branches. But, you know, I was watching a segment from Sean Ryan's class show where he's interviewing Tim Kennedy. And Tim Kennedy is telling a tale about how he was shooting the wounded using a thermal. <laughs> Do you know how many international laws related to war are broken by doing that? But beyond that, can you imagine anybody who is on the other side fighting an SF unit and thinks because of Tim Kennedy saying something like that, that SF, Army Special Forces, will not take prisoners that's what they're basically saying that's what he's saying that's what Tim Kennedy said on Sean Ryan's show like a few days ago two days ago three days ago and I talked to a number of my SF buddies and we've been bantering back and forth with each other about this and I'm going what in the world is happening where these the there was a terminology that used to be used in the 80s it was called glory whore you don't hear that anymore. Glory whores. Tim Kennedy is a glory whore. I wrote about him in my reality TV uh, whistleblower book, So You Want to Be a Reality TV Star. Everything I learned about sex, drugs, fraud, rock and roll as team leader of Discovery Channel's Snake Island, Treasure Quest Snake Island. It's over at Amazon. You should actually read it. Read about Tim Kennedy's background and how he got into Army Special Forces, or even chose Green Berets versus Navy SEALs, you know, when he wasn't doing too well in marketing in Silicon Valley. Yeah, I, it's funny how that got uh, sanitized off the internet, but I still have screenshots of that website. And it was on his own website, actually. But it's funny how, how social media is is it's it's wild that's why i ask people now here's a question for you if, you, if you're military former military are you a gladiator or yes centurion it's a direct question are you a gladiator or you are are you a centurion i'm a centurion my friends that i've been in combat with they're centurions we are not gladiators we will never be gladiators tim kennedy is a gladiator the guy who says he killed bin, bin laden He's a gladiator. These are people who freaking are slaves. They're slaves to, to public opinion and what they think they can get out of it. Just like the original gladiators who were slaves. They weren't centurions. They were slaves. So think about that. Think about that while I take this tree down. And then maybe we'll talk a little bit further about it. Man, it's colder today. Oh, but if you get a chance, go over, you know. Shoot. <laughs> Here's one for you. It's freaking hilarious. Yeah. This is uh, freaking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. This is... Uh, one of my buddies sent me this picture. Check that out. You see who that is at the top? Yeah. Tears of special... <laughs> of soft embarrassments. Tier one. That's Tim Kennedy. Right below him is Vill Millie Vanilli. That's freaking wild. Yeah. You got... Uh, you got Millie Vanilli, and you got Dan Crenshaw, and oh, of course, our favorite uh, Osama bin Laden killer. But that's uh, that's Tim Kennedy right there. Yeah, tears of S of soft embarrassment right there. 
Yeah. Interesting list. Huh. Yep. Oh, Mike Glover's down there. Latrell's over there. Yeah, these guys are... Uh... Man, Crenshaw's a freaking communist. Oh, Jocko. McNamara, I, I don't know. I don't know why he's here. He's, well, it's whole idea, you know, this is about... The whole idea is about quiet professionals. Are these guys quiet? Not very quiet. Anyway, something to ponder. I've been thinking about it all day. I find it very disgusting. That, you know, glory horrors have actually been very profitable of late. You gotta wonder who benefits from this. Is it the MIC? Is it the military industrial complex? Think about that. So anyway. Oh, and if you get a chance, yeah, here's the uh Here's the book I was talking about. You can get that over at Amazon. Pick that up at Amazon. You can read all about Tim Kennedy and all those guys. Hey, it's like four out of five stars. It's a good read over at Amazon. Pick a copy up. But anyway, let's get this tree down on the ground and then maybe we'll talk a little bit more. But right now, it's freaking chilly. So I got my earplugs in, put my eyes on. And these, if you want to help out the the show, I'll put a link at the bottom. You can pick up a care uh, a um, pick up a pair. Might save your save your eyes one day. Best part is they don't fog up because they're screened. Oh. Yeah. So the thing of, <laughs> that's unbelievable. You know, there's actually. A, so many issues with what uh, Kennedy said on Sean Ryan's uh, show. It's unbelievable. So I got it choked. So things to think about. Oh man. I got some wood. I'm gonna buck this up. But isn't it wild? I'm just, just like I'm just floored. Is it a generational thing? People don't remember like uh you don't ever want to be a glory whore. Don't ever be a glory whore if you're in the special operations community. It's like just about everybody. It's almost like check off Green Beret or Navy SEAL or well, at least the PJs have at least kept some honor. I will say the PJs have kept their mouth shut. And they just do their thing. And it is kind of like uh, what Andy Sump said on, uh, what's his name's PBD show. You know, shut the fuck up. Yeah, maybe Tim Kennedy might do a little bit of that. But I don't know, he might lose some revenue. Because that's what it's all about for him, right? Seems to be.
anyway, hasta otro lado. See you on the other side.